2022. Fight is an environmental series showcasing poems and songs that celebrate the beauty of the natural world. These have been sent in by creatives at all levels, from professionals to newcomers and perhaps even your neighbour next door. It's now time to watch through your entries and let you vote for the first ever Fight Awards winners. The most popular poet and musician will each win a £500 prize, and the same amount will go to an environmental charity of their choice. Head to the Homestage website to vote now. This is Folly Road by Milton Hyde. Folly Road. One, two, three, Milton Hyde, a former Tuesday Folk People guest, mm. um, and I feel like that was very strong melodically and musically. It was quite. You said it reminded you. Was it Fleetwood Mac? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> which is quite nice to be. Quite, I think it's quite a compliment. <laughs> yeah, 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 massively. Um, it's the. It's interesting then in terms of content. So like the musical side, beautiful, and then in terms of content, they're um, talking about the people in power. Mm. Um, and it's, it's just, it's a big debate. Who actually has the power to change things? Is it the individual? Is it um, corporations? Is it the rich people at the top? Just interesting seeing what everyone's different perspectives are. And I would hope that anyone who wants to provoke change is willing to make their own individual changes as well. Well, I think in this song very much they're, they're saying it lies with us, just the everyday people. Yeah. And they offer solutions for how to uh, make a difference, which is quite nice. Yeah. Bit of a handy guide within the song. Work from home, travel less. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, and there is also, yeah, a direct criticism of politicians and the people who have loads of money. And that's where I think Folly Road comes in. Delusional, that's what you said. The, yeah. The deluded side of it and how nature is the, st- the thing that's being trampled on. Did you know that elephants in the jungles of equatorial Africa play a huge part in carbon storage simply through their diet? These elephants eat as much as 200 kilograms worth of plants every day. 
According to scientists, the elephants tend to eat the low carbon density trees, which are faster growing, leaving the high carbon density trees alive, which trap and store carbon. However, the fact that they still eat the fruit of the high carbon trees means they will spread the seeds through the forest in their poo and grow more of these valuable carbon storing trees. This is called Climate Change by Jeff Wilson. Our vision is yellow. How green is our valley? What have we done to the blues in our seas? Come along, join us, and don't dilly-dally. And for everyone here, I'll plant you a tree. In the present, we know there's a future in danger. In the past, we've ruined our planet, no doubt. But our forthcoming efforts could be a game changer. So I'm taking a step to shout it all out. Let's jump up and down, generate a new power. Let the world see that we are all part of the plan. Or sit back, travel in style, in extreme contradiction. And laugh in the face of our own fellow man. As we sail in the floods of our country's creation, we see others afar burning up in the sun, whilst the powers that be of our so-called great nations turn their backs on us all as they gather to run. As we fear global warming, my vision is colder. The world I once knew is just fading away. And the fact is, each day, we are all growing older, leaving behind what was once yesterday. Think of our children, our next generation. Think of our parents, who knew nothing of this. Think of the day when we all must face judgment. Don't leave with a free opportunity missed. I've often switched off in the heat of the moment, never thinking that all this is now down to me. But if everyone joined me and paused for one moment, then maybe, just once, we all could agree. Our planet is reaching the point of eruption. Let us not depart and leave nothing to see. In spite of us witnessing greed and corruption, I'll do it for them, if you'll do it for me. Oh, mm. oh Jeff, that was so nice. Yeah, that was wonderful. And I know Jeff is a musician predominantly, yeah. but has been working his way into poetry, so that's, it was so lovely to hear. Yeah. And it, it had, for me, the feel of a speech, yes. with, with the sort of the echoes and the the really full pauses where you're sort of waiting in suspense. Yes, it reminds me of that one, I can't remember the film, but the really famous speech. I feel very much like it's so, like you said, the speech is rousing. It's got, um, like he's, he's kind of bringing the working man saying, the leading people they're running, it's up to us, our power. And the power, that was the thing yeah. I picked up on because it's like when he said, um, making our new source of power like a renewable energy but he's actually talking about everyone jumping up and down and it's this community power like we can do together. it don't yeah. don't rely on them we can do it like we have the power yeah it's great and when he said something about us sailing on the floods that we've created it's like yes we've caused the damage we have but let's use what we've got and actually sail let's thrive you know i loved it i just wish i could remember that speech mark do you know it it's about the war and um he, there's a Jewish guy goes up and speaks pretending to be Hitler. It's a it's a comedy film. Oh, that rings a bell. Oh my god. Charlie Chaplin. Yeah, it's Charlie Chaplin. It's Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. Check out all full entries on the website. Vote for your favourites. Thanks for joining the fight. Yeah.